Today is Thanksgiving. Oh, boy! Gosh, I don't like to scare anybody. I want to be friendly. What's your problem, Timothy? Today is Thanksgiving, and I'm going to be the Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, uh, if you were thinner, nobody would want to eat you. This vibration treatment will take off weight. Skipping rope will make you lighter.
Oh, dear me. How did I ever get into this? What a predicament. Well, why all the gloom, Crapers? Nothing could be that bad. That's what you think, Jeepers. Here, read it yourself. So what are you worrying about? I never went camping in my life. Relax, pal. I wasn't an Eagle Scout for nothing. Leave everything to your old friend Jeepers. Gee, you're a real pal. You're gonna be a real hero to that kid, Creepers. You'll look just like Daniel Boone. Do you really think so? Are you sure my Uncle Creepers, the world's greatest hunter, lives here, huh? Yes, I'm sure. Get your guide here, Coonskin Creepers, specialist in hunting, fishing, camping, and stuff like that there. I'm ready, Unc. Let's start with the wild woods, Unc, and camp and stalk wild animals, huh? And guys like Kit Carson, Buffalo Bill, and Davy Crockett were just babes in the woods compared to Coonskin Creepers. Golly gee. I can't just walk another step. Gosh, what happened to Unc? Why, you rubber, he just stopped to set up camp. Well, how about that? Uncle Creepers, will you show me how to light a fire by rubbing two sticks together, huh, will you? Oh, <laughs> it was really nothing, Frisky. Gee, what a swell knife. Will you show me how to throw it, Unc? Huh? Son, Coonskin's the best knife thrower east of the Dripper Sippy. Oh, boy. Let's see you split a card at 50 paces. Okay, Unc. Fire when ready. Uncle Creepers. Now will you show me how to catch one of those big muskies, Unc? Will you, huh? Will you, huh? Uncle Coonskin not only caught it, but mounted it, too. Gosh. How about showing me how to hunt bears, Unc? Huh? Will you, huh? Will you? Now, when I chase after the kid, you save him from the nasty old bear and become a hero. Jeepers, you're a genius. <laughs>
Rogers isn't around to see what a hero I really am. your selection, sir, from any of these late models. Now, this is Electronica, designed for heavy housework. That's the one I want. Let me show you how she operates. A sample of your voice, please. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. She is now set and will only respond to your voice. To demonstrate, order her to clean this up. Electronica, clean up that dirt. Oh, she must be ordered to stop, or she just repeats whatever she was told to do. Electronica, stop. Great! I'll buy her! Her name is Electronica, and she can do all our housework. Oh, yeah? Well, sweep the rug. Electronica, sweep the rug. Well, dear, what do you think? Well, uh... I don't know. It... Just wait till you see how she serves. Electronica, bring us some coffee. I'll answer the phone, dear. Made. Uh, don't worry, dear. She can straighten it out. Electronica, clean up these dirty dishes. Now put all the dishes in the cabinet. That's very good. Now that the housework is taken care of, I'm going down to the corner for a beer.
from the woodwork. to be true. Aren't you boys starting a little early tonight? We have a big scare raid coming up. We need some extra practice. If I can't sleep in peace here, I'll find a place where I can. That distant mountain looks just right. Golly, listen to all those snores. That explains it. It's Bear Mountain, and all the bears are hibernating. All these snoozing sounds are making me sleepier than ever. Now, where can I sleep? No snoring in this cave. I wonder if it's empty. I'm in luck. It's empty and with a good warm blanket, too. Oh, what's the use? I may as well go back and try sleeping again. That does it. Now someone has taken over my cave. And my blanket, too. Enough is enough. A ghost. Where am I? You're in my cave, sleeping under my blanket, Mr. Ghost. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Bear. I thought the cave was empty. Uh, uh, then you're not here to haunt my nights? I'm Casper, the friendly ghost, and I never haunt anyone. That's a relief. I've got enough trouble. Would you like to tell me about it? It sometimes helps to unbear your troubles. Oh, Casper. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sleep. And it's so lonely with all the other bears asleep, too. I know just the sleep doctor who can cure your trouble. Sleep doctor? The Sandman. He'll know how to make you sleep. The Sandman? Uh, do you really know him, Casper? Sure. He's one of my best friends. Gee, that's funny. I thought he was only a fairy tale. He's for real, all right. You just wait here. I hope the Sandman isn't asleep when I get there. I hate to bother him. He looks like he's busy on a big project. I know. I'll become invisible until he's through. <laughs> A big project, sand castles. <laughs> uh, who's that? Who do these things? The place is haunted. Gosh, I forgot I'm invisible. No wonder he was frightened. I'm sorry, Mr. Sandman. It's me, Casper, the friendly ghost. <laughs> oh, Casper, I should have known. Say, what brings you here at an hour when all the good little boys should be there to sleep? Well. It's a sleep problem of a friend of mine. Here's the Sandman, just as I promised. Uh, 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 hiya, Doc. Now what do we do? Well, we just sit and wait for the sand to take effect. I might as well let them sleep. I've always been a good bear. Why should this thing happen to me? <laughs> Everyone's asleep but me. Gosh, the sand worked on us, but not on him. I feel just awful about this. Oh, this air mattress is terrific, Doc. Good, and now to get the work. <laughs> Sheep? Yes. Now you start counting them until you fall asleep. Okay, Casper, you know what to do. Follow me, girls. Come on, Mr. Bear. A one, a two, a three, four, five, uh -oh. six. Mr. Sandman, seven, do you see what I see? Eight. Mutton nine, chops ten, and lamb stew. Eleven, twelve. Mr. Bear, I'm ashamed of you, especially when the sheep are here to help you. I'm sorry, Doc, but 
I'm as hungry as a bear. What do we do now? I don't know, Casper. Let's just go outside and think about it. Oh, this has never happened to me before. It's not your fault, Mr. Sandman. You did your best. Say, it's real quiet. The storming has stopped. That means the hibernation season has ended. Now Mr. Bear can join the others. Gee, now he's asleep. Then I didn't fail him after all. Come, Casper, let's not disturb him. You know what I discovered? It was the snoring of the other bears that kept me awake. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>